Okay, so hi everybody. Thank you for being here and welcome to this event, which is about healing for Diana and the earth. So Diana at the soul level has agreed to clear this lump of collective low energy. And by joining forces, we can support Diana and everyone in similar conditions and also send healing to the earth herself. So at the moment, a lot is coming to the surface. I can see that many people are going through health challenges at the moment, including myself. And this, this is happening because it's just time now that we release everything. We just have to let go all of this old stuff and you know, become aware of our limiting beliefs and just transmute them, change them into, into something higher. So I would, yeah, so it's time to step fully into our majesty. It's time to shine our light and really show who we truly are. So we go around with our chakras radiating, radiating beautiful fifth dimensional light. You know, we keep our aura expanded. And so where we walk, we have an effect on people. And I also would like to remind you that in Lemurian consciousness, there is no sickness. So those of you who have followed my interviews with Lowell Johnson, you will know that the Lemurians, you know, tell us, the people in Telos, that they reach, you know, thousands of years of age. They have mastered immortality. So that is a mindset. So what would it take to, you know, to adopt this mindset right now? So we just remove the idea that we can get sick from our consciousness and we can keep it. <laughs> so let's adopt it right now and keep it. And, and this lump, which, you know, which is a proxy for, as Wesley just told me, for collective, <laughs> for the collective, it's energy. So energy can be transmuted and we have so many tools available now. We have all these wonderful energies, flames. We have the archangels, the masters. They're all supporting us with the work we're doing. So we can transmute these energies. And I have received very specific guidance on what to do today. So it was the archangels sorry, the Archangel Sandalphon, which has come forward. So I'm just showing you Archangel Sandalphon. I'm sure you know him all, you probably know him all. <laughs> and the Archangel Gersisa. So we're gonna work with them to create a new solid foundation for the golden age. And also Archangel Amethyst has come forward the twin flame of Archangel Zakiel. So she wanted to work with us this evening as well. And we are going to work under the law of grace. And we're going to send healing for the highest good and Diana's highest pass. So that is our focus. And we detach from any outcome. And um, there's something that Kerstin said in her healing event for Diana, which has really stuck with me, that it's that we think some illnesses are difficult to heal, whereas others are easy to heal, like, you know, cancer in the collective consciousness. We believe it's difficult to heal, but something like, you know, a cut on your arm that heals very quickly. So if we just think, you know, everything can be healed easily, that will also contribute to the work we're going to do. And before we start, I would like you to do something to honor 
Diana. So that's what, what came to me. That was the guidance that came through. So I would like you to write in the chat box what you would say to her if she was here right now, because then that creates a connection, it creates a bridge, and we can send the healing energy. So I'm going to say, I'm going to speak it, what I want to say to Diana. So I'm going to say to Diana, Diana, you are my greatest inspiration and I love you immensely. Yeah, so just write in the chat. <laughs> Don't know if I should read them. Dear Diana, I love you. I love you, dear Diana, and I'm so blessed to know you and have found your work in wisdom. I love you, Diana. Sorry, I can't read them now. They're going too fast. <laughs> Thank you, Diana, for... <laughs> Wonderful to be here supporting you and everyone with this healing. Beautiful messages are coming in for Diana and you can feel the energies are rising. Beautiful messages. Very touching. This is really opening the hearts. <laughs> I would also like to invite you to get a crystal if you haven't got one ready yet so crystal will amplify <laughs> the energies you are sending I've got my little crystal skull family here on my desk I've got a Lemurian and an Andara so if you have a crystal with you, it will amplify our work. And I also want to thank Wesley for guiding this visualization with me. So there's a balance of energies. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy to be here and be part of this. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, uh, so shall we, are the messages finished? <laughs> so, I'm sure more will pop through as people feel okay. they need to write. So before the visualization, before we start, I just want to say that we are going to visit four etheric retreats. The first one is Archangel Sandalphons. Um, 
Lake Atitlan. Is that how you said it, Wesley? <laughs> Lake Atitlan. I hope I got it right. The, the yes. Crystal Cave in Guatemala. And the second retreat, which we are going to visit, is Archangel Zacchaeus and his twin flame Amethyst, which is above Cuba. So we're going to be some, doing some traveling. The third one is we're going to go to the Atlantean Sphinx. So we're going back to Atlantis. And the fourth one is going to be Lord Kumeka's retreat above Caracas in South America. And I will also invite you, we will invite you to tone at various points of the meditation, but we do that with, with our microphones muted. So only you can hear yourself toning. <laughs> and I will also mute myself for my own toning. <laughs> Okay, so shall we start, Wesley? I'll start. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> so everyone, let's close our eyes. And we relax. We breathe into the heart. Just a few deep breaths into the heart. And become aware of your roots growing deep into the center of the earth. The beautiful silvery golden roots. and a wrapping around the immense crystal in the core of the earth. The energy from this crystal is traveling up through your chakra column and all the way to source. And source responds by sending a stream of divine light through the dimensions, through our chakra column. And I invoke Archangel Michael to protect you with his deep blue cloak of protection. And you can see and feel that shimmering and sparkling all around you. I call in Archangel Raphael, the angel of healing, to surround us in his emerald green healing light. I call in Lord Kumeka, Diana's guide, in charge of the topest blue ray of deep transmutation. I call in Archangel Sandalfon. Archangel Gersisa, Archangel Zadkiel, Archangel Amethyst, I call in the elemental dragons and the galactic dragons. I call in the unicorns from the Lyran Stargate. And I call in the Lemurian energies 
die Atlantien Energies, the Atlantean High Priests and Healers. I call in white gold Christ light and the golden white Mahatma energy. I call in all higher beings who can assist us with the work we are doing and I call in the grace of source. Call in your guardian angel and take yourself to Lake Atitlan in Guatemala. The sun is shining and there is a light mist over the shimmering water. As you scan the rocky coast with your eyes, you spot the entrance to Archangel Sandalfin's magical crystal cave. Float across the sea and enter the crystal cave. Look around and notice how immense it is. And with wonder, you take in the beauty of the different sized and colored crystals. You become aware of the presence of Archangel Sandalfon. He is tall and his energy reaches from the center of the earth all the way up to the heavens. He is dressed in silvery flowing robes. His brown eyes are gentle and his glance full of kindness. You greet him with a bow. Archangel Sandalfon has been expecting you and he knows why you are here. He wants to help the earth and everyone build a solid foundation for our ascended selves and the new golden age through the earth star chakra below your feet. You become aware of the presence of another being. It is Archangel Gestisa. Her white and gray energy radiate like moonbeams all around her. She offers to clear the energy around your earth star chakra, allowing you to anchor deeper into the earth than ever before. You give permission and allow the Archangel Garcisa to carry out the work. And as she has completed her work, Archangel Sandalfon shows you a silver flame in the palm of his hand, and he places it into your earth star. Feel it lighting up. Feel the center expanding. Igniting the highest potential in your earth star. Creating a solid foundation for the new earth. And this ignites also the highest potential in your other chakras. 
the bright platinum base, the soft luminous pink sacral chakra, the golden orange navel chakra, your solar plexus glowing with golden Christ light, your pure white heart which has a golden glow your throat chakra which is electric royal blue with a hint of diamond light the third eye which is a pure crystal ball glowing with an emerald light and your bright radiant white causal chakra your luminous magenta soul star with its bright blue core and your bright, radiant gold stellar gateway. We will ask Archangel Sandalfin to connect Diana, you and everyone to the notes of your divine blueprint. Arch, ask, uh, ask Archangel Sandalfin and the seraphim angels to help you tone. And as you tone and sing your notes, hold the intention and vision that the perfect tones reach Diana. With muted microphones, we will tone for one minute. And as you tone, feel the sounds resonate in your cells. Our notes echo throughout the universe, attracting the attention of all illumined beings and source himself. Your personal notes sound with Diana's and everyone's notes, bringing everything in the universe into perfect harmony. Thank Archangels Sandalfon and Garcisa and exit.
the crystal cave. With your guardian angel, travel to the etheric retreat of Archangels Zadkiel and his twin flame Amethyst above Cuba and enter the Violet Temple. Archangel Zadkiel wears a violet robe and radiates a beautiful violet light. He is very handsome with long wavy black hair and clear brown eyes. Archangel Amethyst shimmers like a sparkling crystal and so do her eyes as she welcomes you. Archangel Amethyst steps forward and smiles. With two of her slender fingers, she sends a stream of violet and loving pink light into your heart. Archangel Zadkiel also comes closer and adds the gold of wisdom and the silver of grace. And Archangel Amethyst invites you to tone with her. So you set the intention to heal the collective part of humanity. And as you tone, you focus on the healing of your own heart, Diana's, and everyone's. So Archangel Amethyst and the Seraphim Angels will assist. So we, we tone again for a minute. Pure love is streaming from your heart in all directions. See it flowing through your physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual bodies. Remember that love is the most powerful force and can dissolve anything. We intend and see it clearing Diana's lump and we send it to everyone in similar conditions. Focus on this for one minute and see the lump dissolve.
archangels Zadkiel and Amethyst will now accompany you to a very special place. They wrap you into the beautiful wings in different violet tones and they transport you across time and space along a path of love to golden Atlantis. They are taking you to the temple of Poseidon on the highest of the seven Atlantean peaks. And more precisely, they are taking you to the Eastern gate of the temple where the huge Atlantean Sphinx is located. The Atlantean Sphinx contains the Akashic records for all universes. And beyond the Sphinx, you can see the gardens and the temple shimmering in the sunlight. Archangel Amethyst and Zadkiel, they bring you down right between the pores of the Sphinx. And Archangel Amethyst now opens a gateway and takes you inside the Sphinx. You feel a shift in energy as you enter this high frequency space. The archangels guide you along a ceremonial path to the front of the hall. On the ground, there is a beautiful carving of a cosmic wheel. Archangel Amethyst opens a portal in that particular spot. And with amazement, you gaze at the 13th Atlantean Amethyst crystal skull floating up from below. Immediately you feel powerful energy enfolding you. You now have the honor to touch the skull. Archangel Amethyst smiles and nods encouragingly. So reach out your hand and touch it. The skull contains the combined wisdom of the 12 Atlantean crystal skulls and the 12 tribes. So the skull has all the knowledge of all the incredible healing techniques the Atlanteans were able to perform. You now have 10 minutes time with the skull. You can ask the skull to divulge the perfect way of clearing the lump and hold the vision of that happening for Diana and everyone in similar conditions. The Atlanteans had amazing healing technologies available using color, sound, crystals, they had crystal chambers, they had crystal laser techniques for psychic surgery, and they were able to regrow limbs. So all of you here are encouraged to have a vision, receive specific instructions from the skull, and see Diana and everyone who needs it receiving the healing. So tune in and use your power.
thank the crystal skull for the insights you have received and see it float back into the ground. Exit the Sphinx with the Archangels and thank them for having accompanied, accompanied you here. Together with your guardian angel, you visit one more etheric retreat. You fly across space and time to visit Lord Kumika above Caracas. You are now in the presence of this mighty 11th dimensional great illumined universal master, a Lord of light who glows with a topaz, topaz blue light. Lord Kumike's mission is to help individuals and the earth to transform. Bow to greet him and feel his loving energy enfold you. With a hand gesture, he produces a large, vibrant, topaz blue ball that contains the perfect keys and codes to live as a new human in the golden age. With your permission, he places this ball over you. Breathe deeply and surrender to the deep cleansing of old dense stuff you may carry in your fields. And this includes outdated beliefs, including the belief that some illnesses are easy to heal and others more difficult. Allow yourself to go through deep purification. It may feel as if something is being pulled out of your crown. And releasing this old stuff opens you up to the highest possibilities in this lifetime. And you can now set the intention to become a channel for Lord Kumeka's topaz blue light and send it through your chakra column into the earth. As the energies keep flowing through you, you are helping to clear dense energies from the earth. Diana and all of humanity, so they can open up to a new, higher health blueprint. As you keep sending the energies into the earth, see how legions of dragons and unicorns are coming in to assist the clearing. See people living joyfully and in harmony with their crystalline bodies of light in a world where everyone operates from the heart. And now we're going to say a Huna prayer for Diana. And you can just repeat after me. Beloved source, I pray with all my heart and soul. 
under the law of grace for the healing of Diana, humanity and the earth. Beloved source, I pray with all my heart and soul under the law of grace for the healing of Diana, humanity and the earth. Beloved source, I pray with all my heart and soul under the law of grace for the healing of Diana, humanity and the earth. So be it, it is done. Beloved subconscious mind, I hereby ask you to take this prayer with all the energy needed through my higher self to source and you can visualize the prayer shooting up through your crown through the higher chakras through your higher self and to source And then sitting with your palms facing upwards in a receptive mode, you say, Source, let the rain of blessings fall. And you visualize the prayer manifesting. And then you thank Lord Kumeka and he thanks you for your service work, which helps Diana, humanity and the planet shift into the new golden age. And then you take your leaf and you travel across space and time with your guardian angel holding your hand. You come back into your own space And slowly and gently, you bring your awareness fully back into your physical body. And you bring your awareness to your feet, feel them connecting with the ground. and your roots anchoring you deeply into the earth. And very slowly and gently, you can start moving your feet Moving your hands, your fingers. And when you feel ready, you can open your eyes.
and you can share your experiences in the chat box. I will be sending the recording. I will, and also the prayer. Wesley, would you like to share your experience? Well, that was powerful, wasn't it? It was. I think with, <laughs> with everyone here adding their light around the globe in different times and, and, and places. I think it's fantastic. It was it was very powerful. I could I could feel the, the energy in myself shift <clears throat> at one point. And it was it was lovely to spend time uh, with the Atlantean skull just to to reconnect with some of that wisdom um, and I think what I can take away from that is there's uh, we already have a, a good understanding of the body mind dynamics and how certain things can manifest because of things that are going on in your life and I think that knowledge is going to become even deeper and explored even more. Um, and uh, maybe even common practice, you know, when, you, when you're looking at an ailment, you're looking at across the spectrum of things. Um, so yeah, that, that, was, that was really wonderful. And thank you for everyone here for taking the time today, wherever you find yourself in the world to, to join us and add your light. Um, and Francisca, how did you find it? Yeah, I, I, I really enjoyed the tuning, especially the, the notes for the divine blueprint. I really, they came through very, very nicely. <laughs> and mm. I really got a sense of that they are reverberating in the universe. I really, really enjoyed that, the tuning, the other one as well for the heart. Mm. And uh, when we were connecting with um, the skull, I the vision I had was that Diana was receiving a very gentle treatment. Um, she was lying on a crystal bed, and the the priests, the healers, had special containers made from crystal, and they had collected starlight. So they were pouring this starlight onto Diana. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And um, there were also crystals which were emitting tones. And I could see the tones very gently moving that, that lump. So got a mm. sense of the tones were reaching there and dissolving the energies. So that wow. was interesting. And I wonder whether anyone else had had a vision with the skull. I'm just looking through the chat. There are lots of thank you, thank you messages. This, has anyone got had a vision with the with the skull they would like to share? You can even hold up your hand. Do you know how to hold up your hand? You click on reactions and you raise hand. Oh, Yuta, are you raising yeah. your hand? I just saw you raising your hand. Yeah, please tell us. Yeah. Unmute, unmute yourself. Yes. Um, I saw um, Archangel um, Gersisa and Amethyst guiding um, Diana to, um, it was a kind of feeling pool with um, Smaragd, uh, Smaragd greens, and um, <clears throat> Archangel Raphael was there too, and uh, she just had to take a bath. Yeah, yes, and very gently, as you said too, Francisca, very very gently, um, she had to stay in for uh, for um, some minutes or yes, for some time, and then she got out and. And it was uh, Archangel Raphael could take the lump out very easily afterwards. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. And Perfect. then I saw a huge unicorn arriving 
-huh. and um and, and diana was riding away with unicorn oh wow <laughs> <laughs> i love that bit <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> and thank you for sharing that Yuta. Mm -hmm. and i can see georgia also raising her hand georgia yeah. would you thank like you. to unmute yeah thank you francisca and everybody um, it was really synchronizing perfectly because the Kristen I have next to me is this amethyst. Oh yes. So so you were you, you were saying uh, about uh, the skull and the amethyst. So and I felt really comfortable because I'm a master healer in Atlantean healing from Rachel Bullhois. You you know her. Yes, I know her. Yeah, exactly. And I also uh, it was just like you know what to do, Gina. So I called in the Atlantean angels and, and Isis and, you know, all the high priests from Atlantis as we do it usually and, um, and worked with them removing the lamp gently, send Atlantean healing. Uh, we send them like this to, to heal the wounds, but also stop any new things to come out. And then we, we basically protect and shield whatever wound we had we shield the client with the diamond shield so basically the message is to uh, to have her drinking water and on all is balancing out for the next 48 hours oh thank yeah. you thank you for sharing that thank you <laughs> okay anyone else would like to share you can raise your hand Cornelia, please. Yes, for me it was say uh, similar that uh, when I uh, was together with this um, um, amethyst calf in, in Atlantis, there was coming laughter. It oh. was just laughter in me, around me. Diana was like we were just laughing together, oh, I love and that. it was sort of this wisdom. It's all happening. It's all taking out anyway, and she knows it. And it's just easy. It's no. It's just fun. It's just absolute trust into the divine that is holding her and everyone else in a similar condition. And this was going on for a while, and then all her and all other women in similar condition were lying down on beds and they were just uh, bathed in divine white light and it was just divine it was wonderful easy easy laughter easy, Very easy. <laughs> beautiful <laughs> thank you thank you cornelia <laughs> anyone else raise your hand if you'd like to speak Paniel, please please unmute yourself Hi. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not, how do you pronounce your name? Sorry. <laughs> oh, Penil. Penil. It's, it's Penil. Danish. Yeah, Danish. Oh, so. Danish. You're from Denmark. Penil. Yeah, and it's um variation of Peter. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. So, well, when, when we first entered the Sphinx, I immediately met a very tall male figure that was an incarnation I have had as a male healer in, in Atlantis. Wow. And he guided me into the skull. And when I had to touch the skull, mm -hmm. he showed how I work with the emerald light, the emerald ray for healing. So together with him, I sent emerald light to Diana's lump and it, dissolve more and more and I also have to tone which I normally don't mm -hmm. uh, and that combination of emerald light and the toning reduced it a lot uh, and kind of disappeared and and when it disappeared there was starlight oh uh, <laughs> you got starlight too wow <laughs> yeah and and I got that very clear impression that it was placed by star being so yeah so, but, but not as not as not in a negative way, but in yeah. a way to get us to co co work. Yeah. Maybe so. it's the star beings that are helping that were helping yeah. collect the starlight, which I saw. There must be a special way. Yeah, yeah. 
yeah. but the reason was for us to come together and do this collective work wow thank you so much for yeah. being here yeah that was and it sharing this thank you <laughs> okay anyone else anyone else wants to camilla <laughs> hello i haven't seen you hello <laughs> nice to see you I mean, I saw you today twice, but <laughs> I haven't seen you yet this evening. Oh, thank you, Francisco and Wesley. It, it was wonderful. Um, I, I went and put my hand to the side of the head of the skull like I was caressing him. Mm -hmm. And the message I got back was that the highest power in the universe is love. The highest healing power is love. And... I saw Jesus standing beside beside us. Oh. And then I saw it was it was a bath, but it looked more like a sarcoph sarcophagus. Mm -hmm. Those quartz. And Dinah was lying in it, and the love was pouring in. And as the love poured in, the lump started to dissolve. And by the end of it, Diana was just like a crystal glowing wow. <laughs> so you also had the bath the i also bath. had the bath yes wow. it's like wow. bathing bathing her yeah. thank you <laughs> thank you camilla anyone else I um I saw Diana and she was levitating above the amateur skull. Her body was just uh, on its own up above it, levitating, and the energy was all going up to her, and her tumor was being just completely dissolved, it just disappeared with the energy. And there was so much light coming down from the heavens and so many beings of light around her and so much love it was unbelievable it was wow. beautiful thank you kitty thank you for sharing that you're welcome you. anyone else if no one else wants to share um let me see Okay, so I'm gonna send you all a replay. I will send you, we will send you also the Huna prayer. So if it resonates, please carry on saying the Huna prayer for the next 30 days. And I also would like to take the opportunity to tell you about an exciting event, which I will be holding. It's a free event and I've got the special honor <laughs> to interview Bill Homan. So Bill Homan, he is the guardian of the Mitchell Hedges skull, if you've heard about that. So it is said that that is one of the original 12 Atlantean skulls, and he calls it the skull of love. So on the 2nd of November, we will do an event together. So I will be chatting with him for 30 minutes. Then we're going to meditate for 30 minutes with the skull to send healing to the earth. And after that, we can ask questions and share our experiences. So if that interests you, <laughs> I think Wesley, Wesley, are you you dropping? You've dropped it. Wesley dropped the link into the chat box but i will also send it out so we i think we can yeah so i want to thank everyone as well of course thank you so much for adding your light to this event and for joining in because it just makes it so more powerful if many of us join in from everywhere in the world. It's amazing what we can do with Zoom. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so thank you. And Diana has told me she would tune in for this event. So I'm sure she has received much, much energy. 
And I think the, the other day she wrote on Facebook, I've only saw it very, very quickly, but I think she already said that her tumor was shrinking. So that's good, good news. <laughs> Okay, so I say goodbye and Wesley, you can stop the recording.